and we're back for some more Alan Wake. Uh, let's see where this takes me. No, that's right. A crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never Alice. turned the lights off. Alice. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Uh. Let's I get a bit closer. Find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Alright, guess we're going back inside. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! Yep. It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. Now, I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You 
must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my heart a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> you right. End of episode four. Previously on Alan Wake. Under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The Lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault and you're gonna pay for it. Episode 5, The Clicker. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up. Uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow. And get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. What was in the light? Oh, oh, oh. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, <laughs> Al. Al, this is not good. That about sums it up. Oh, I am never drinking again. <laughs> I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song, the Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, we're Al, but we're stuck here. Night, They're not gonna... An interview, wait. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. <laughs> it's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. What? 
Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh my oh. god! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. All right. Oh man, we're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. All right. Ooh, let's see. Things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on. Let's get back to your friend. All right. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? Another one. Maybe oh, checkpoint. Hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. Of course. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Are you sure? Okay, then. But hurry. All right. I'm sure it's going to go smoothly. Can't go through there. to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. Oh, crap. I'm going to stop standing in that. All right. Man, I gotta start looking down. Yep, I guess we're going up here. I know I'm going the right way. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, we'll try that again. <laughs> Jump. Now try that again. And of course, I'm going to straighten one of the. Yeah. Oh, not the birds. I hate the birds. Oh, there's always more birds. Are there any flares? No. Ah, oh, crap. 
Uh, panicked. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah. uh, I did that last time. Just kind of wish I had a flare or something for those birds. Where's the next lot? Oh, there they are. Yeah. Birds are the worst. Now, I've got to be careful here. As I get hit. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I thought there was a ladder there. <laughs> Probably have to take it down manually. Next lot. Ah, oh. oh, they're everywhere. careful this time and check my surroundings. Ah, yep. Yeah. Of course you have to take it down manually. Hey Sheriff, your password. Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. That's not good. Well done, Sarah. Look out. Oh, that's one of the big ones. I should avoid that. And that one. Ah, dead. Oh, hang on. Let me get some of this. What do we got? Batteries, flares, good. Flares always come in handy.
All right, they went better. Better than before. Got him. Get some more stuff. Let's be careful. Well, that's not good. That's the one with don't shoot her. Oh, I'm gonna die. Where'd you come from? Flares have been my saving grace, to be honest. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about <laughs> I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building and near the main entrance. Page. The 
message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Oh, oh crap. That's my last battery too, I think. Yep. Yep. Flashbangs, flashbangs are good too. Okay, Sheriff, I got the keys. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God. Oh, God. Wake. He's okay. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. All right. Nothing there. Nothing there. What's that say? Press no one in the dark. Get rid of them. I always like the flash bangs. We can make it through the bookstore. Wheeler What's should be waiting for us in the backyard. Get the hell down, or I'll call the sheriff. <laughs> oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs hmm. to get around. All right. I need the thermos. Wait, what you got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. <laughs> nah, nothing. Nothing else. Up. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. Oh, get to the chopper. Bet it's locked. No, it isn't. For once. Of my mind about this lock. Uh, I told him to get it fixed. Alright. Oh. Yeah, where do you come from? It's a good for your heart. 
Behind you. Behind me. Crap, not good. Yeah. Where'd you come from? Damn, he snuck up on me. Yeah, let's try again. I can do all this again. Here we go. Completely missing. See him. Came out of nowhere. Alright. I'll grab all this stuff first. No, the hunting rifle is not as good as a shotgun. Flashbangs, should have used that before. Flare gun ammo. Give this another go. Oh no! Damn, I can never get away from them. Alright, here we go again. I'll get all this stuff I need first. All I need now is a flare gun. That'd come in handy, but I don't have one right now. Oh, hang on. Didn't see that before. Yeah. 
Not again. There were some of them, I think there's still that one left. There he is. Nice. That has to be all of them. Yep. Well, we got there. Okay, it's open. Let's go, Wake. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deer Fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Any other stuff to get? Nope. Anymore. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Oh. Let's get some more supplies. Yeah. Yeah. store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. <laughs> Bastard. Here we go again. He's got a chainsaw.
get used to this. <laughs> the helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here. Oh, surprise. Shotgun ammo. Awesome. Flashbangs. Awesome. Oh, and get the other one. Is that all of them? Nope. It's not. Why don't you duck? Alright, I'm going to finish up now. I'll see you again soon. Bye.